Welcome back. This is Ray and Crafts for Homeschooling. So what we're doing today is we're just going to make lip gloss out of color crayons. So what we're going to do, this is one that I just completed. It's a brown crayon. I added mint to it so it smells like mint which will make it lovely. First thing you want to do is you want to check your crayons. We all have broken crayons around the house, right? So first thing you want to do is Check your crowns, find your broken ones, whatever colors the kids want to do. They can match up different colors. They can do the same colors however they want to. Be sure 98% of the crayons are non-toxic. So make sure that your crayons are non-toxic that you want. It'll say somewhere on the label on this crown. It's really tiny, but it's right up here on the label. It says non-toxic. Next thing you need to do is take your wrapper off. I just use a pair of scissors. Haven't been a preschool teacher. I got used to doing it this way little slips here and there but you just guide your scissors straight down you don't have to use a whole lot of pressure you're just cutting up the paper oops I'm sliding all over today there we go that's all you need your scissors for so you can actually put those away or put them down um, if you got your broken crayons you already have your paper off of them makes it nice and easy uh, you just want to make sure you get all your paper off there we go ta-da that's off today the lipsticks that I'm gonna make besides the brown one are going to be uh, red and yellow and when I did this with my boys years ago we did maple flavor and banana flavor um, like I said I put mint into the brown one you can do whatever flavors you find on the shelf or if you have a garden go out and get your garden um, we have stevia leaves we have thyme leaves you can crush those up and drop a few little flakes in all it does is add some flavor to it, adds a little smell to it, makes it nice and aromic, and it's fantastic. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have some water going on your stove. Let me make sure you can see this. I have just a saucepan, and then I have some little culture dishes. Just these little, little Pyrex glass ones, make sure that they are safe for hot water. Um, and then I just put a little bit, probably about a half a teaspoon of coconut oil I really like coconut oil much better than olive oil and um, it has a little bit of a taste to it but it makes it nice as well as it's great for moisture because that's where these crowns are going is on the lips it's lip gloss it's lipstick it's gonna go on your lips right so then you take this and when you have your water just slightly boiling kind of at a simmer just a little bubble simmer let me bring the phone over so you can see it, the video so you can see how it's going just at a light boil yes I have one in here it's already got the coconut oil melted I'm gonna set the other one right in next to it and let that coconut oil melt the next thing I'm gonna do is the one that is melted I'm gonna go ahead and take my crayons and I'm gonna drop those in just like that and you can watch how well they're they will melt rather quickly I'm gonna add a little bit of I'm doing banana flavor on this one so just a couple drops oh looks like that's all I get out of there anyway that's fine and then I just use a stick just a random little stick that you've got stir it around it takes a few minutes it's not bad and it teaches the kids to watch it they get to watch the melting they get to watch the water bubble there's a difference between coconut oil and water. If you were to put them together, you would see that there's a difference. The oil would float on top of the water, which is also great. Now that my other one is melted, let me grab my red crayons. I've got those right here. And let me get my maple syrup here, flavor. You can use real maple syrup or regular syrup if you want, whatever works for you don't need a whole lot so let me come back to stirring my yellow ones this way you can see how they work out and it's just a lot of fun for the kids they get to sit here and hang out with it okay my yellow is almost all melted I want to give it a little bit longer than when they're all melted just to give it a little bit of extra time for that flavoring the smell the flavor to just kind of work in there in between the crayons because the crayons are wax so you're mixing wax and oil and flavor so there's that and let me get my stick I am using a different stick for each one because uh, those who know anything about art and colors you can end up mixing colors and today I just prefer not to do that so 
Um, not much of a mix would happen if I add the yellow to the red, but if I were to be working on a yellow and say doing a blue and I mix the blue stick in with yellow, I'd end up with a smidget of green just because that's what they do. The colors will blend and they will mix, which is also a fun um, art and creative little tactic to spin in there with your kids and not let them know. The fun part about learning is not knowing when you're learning, right? That makes everything so much better. Okay, my red is almost ready as well now. Now this food flavoring is a little bit different, so it does still have the speckles, which is fine. That's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be, you know, ideal. Everything is unique in its own way. So let me set this right back up here. Sorry about the hand. <laughs> so, oh, there we go. Okay, we're set again. Now, the next thing you want to have before you <laughs> before you start this project, I should say, is you want to get these little capped containers. They're just a little screw-off cap. You can get them at the dollar store. They sell them in the craft area. Anything that has a cap like this, um, when my boys and I did this several years ago, we used medicine containers, the weekly medicine box, and we did seven different flavors of lip gloss. Granted, I'm not sure what happened to that container at this point, and that was several years ago. I don't know what happened to the container, but that gave us lip gloss for ages. It lasted forever, as I still can't find it and don't know where I put it, <laughs> where it ended up going. So I've got this little tiny container. Now, I prefer to work on a um, mat, as you can see. I've got this orange mat in front of me. Um, I've got a towel next to me as well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tongs, since I don't need the water, I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. I'm going to use my tongs to pull the bowl out. Please, 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 parents, do this part. Please don't have your kids do this. That would just terrify me to bits. Um, it's it's going to be a hot bowl. You don't want to put it on your fingers. You really, really don't. Um, I'm just giving it a little bit more of a stir up. And then once it cools a little bit and you can touch it, it's a little cooler to the touch, it's better. I make a mess, I get things everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a funnel since my little container is so tiny. And I think, I think I'm ready to hold it. If not, you can just use your tongs. Just do a little bit of a pour. Make sure you don't overflow it. But you wanna get it up to the top because as it dries, it's gonna kinda drop down a little bit. And there you go. Set that off to the side. Only takes a couple minutes for it to cool down, and it'll be good to go. No problem. I'm going to do the same thing here with my red. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Here we go. I'm going to let it cool just a little bit. Or if your kids are anything like mine and a little anxious and antsy, <laughs> go ahead and use your tongs. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and stir it up a little bit more. I didn't clean out my filter, and the reason is, or um, excuse me, my funnel, and the reason I didn't do that is because it's already hardened. It only takes a few minutes for it to get hard. I literally had done the brown seconds before turning this on. So it takes just, and it, it again, it does depend on the size of container you use. If you're using a glass container, it's gonna stay warm longer. Putting it into a cold glass container will help. Um, but as these are fun for kids kind of things, go ahead and give them a plastic container. It's not going to melt your plastic. It's not that hot. Okay? So you don't really need, you don't need to worry about it melting at all. I'm also just going to pour on the other side. It's not going to be a big deal. So here we go. Go ahead and pour it down. Nice and slow. Fill it up as much as you want. Oh, I smell that maple. It smells fantastic. And then I'm going to put these in the sink. Again, give it a couple of minutes. It's already hardening on the outside. Let me bring it so you can see it. It's already starting to harden on the outside over here where I dripped a little bit, and that's fine. And that, quick and easy lip gloss. For those of you who have little girls, I don't I have boys, but you know what? They loved it the same. It's a great science, great art. Great craft activity. Remember to hashtag me at Blue Jean Comfort. Come see my website at Facebook, Blue Jean Comfort. And hey, if you didn't get dirty, you didn't have a good day. Bye.